Oh, it's a big lamb, this lass. What were you thinking having a lamb this size? Right, folks. Oh my god, it's a weight. Good morning, sheep fans. We're on day number five of the lambing vlogs and we're off to a bad start because I'm coming across the field here and our two lambs from yesterday are down with hypothermia and empty bellies. That's the hung lamb that we saved yesterday. It's now at death's door. Here they are here. They've just not been getting milk. I thought a good dunk the colostrum. They were running with mum when I left them last night, so there's no reason why not. She doesn't have big teats, as we had with the previous sheep. So there's no real excuse, to be honest with you, as to why these lambs haven't gone and got a suckle. But, it is what it is. It's been a horrible night. It's soaking wet. They're obviously cold and wet. Now I need to try and catch them. Or catch mum, rather. But that's, that shouldn't be too hard. I've got Meg if I need her. Been using this stick, actually. I quite like this stick. Although it's not going to work in this situation because I'm in the middle of the field. We. How you doing? She's a good sheep. Well, apart from the near dead lambs. We. <laughs> Gotta stick these in the footwell and give them a heat while we go to the shed. It's a brute that because... And I suppose I gave them a good tube and a colostrum so they would look full last night. But I definitely thought they were looking bright following along with mum when I left them. So naturally I thought they'd be okay. I know it happens, I know I accept that it happens, it happens, but it's very annoying. So let's try and save them again. Okay, guys, I think it's just going to be one of those mornings. We've got fresh lambs everywhere here. This lamb is off a wee chibi at Gimmer. Clearly wet, not happy with the weather. And there's two fresh pairs just below them. Oh, sorry, that's a single and that's a pair. We'll go and check them. And I saw another one over at the barn when I come in, but we'll need to... I've got colostrum there with me. I was I was going to just tube it, but looking at how wee that lamb is, and bare-skinned as well, blue-faced Leicester lambs, whilst they're big, they're soft. The chivy, it's a hardy bit. She's not going to be easy caught, though, because she's a gimmer. She's spooked. I don't even know why I'm setting the trailer up here, because I'm never going to catch her out in the middle of the field here. Add to the fact that she was shown in September, she's hardly any wool to catch. Oh, right. It's okay. This is farming, folks. Listen, I'm just here to help you, Mum. I'm just here to help you, your wee lamb. It's just a wee silly lamb. Come on, me lamb. Oh, listen to it, Mum. 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 There's a wee, poor wee thing here. A wee quick, close look while we're waiting on Mum coming down. Oh, well, yeah, we're going to have to be a bit more, not more ruthless, probably, kinder. Maybe the right term and get these sheep in. Oh, don't do that, Mum. Okay. Meh. 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 I mean, it is what it is. We're, we're farming. This is, this is farming, but I just know as soon as Meg jumps out there, she's going to steam on down the hill. And I don't really have a good corner to walk her to here because 
That's down into the burn. Your lamb's there. Tell you, Meg, tell you, Meg. Come on, she's going too far away. Come by. Come by. Hi, Jin. Hey. Hi, Jin. Ah, oh, see, she's just going to go stone mad. Hi, Jin. Hey. Hey. Hi, Jin. Hey. Come by. I don't know why I'm telling Meg what to be. Wee 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 come by, come by. Oh, don't let her go over there, Meg. Wee wee wee. Oh. He's here, he's here, he's here, she's changed direction, come by. She's gonna go that bridge. Oh. Wee. Why you doing? Why you doing? Let a few slip by, wee. Why you doing? Why you doing? Why you doing? Get them right in the corner there. I'll catch her in there. Why you doing? Why you doing? Lily Meg, Lily Meg. Lily Meg. Lily Meg. Why you doing? Lily Meg, Lily Meg. Why you doing? Oh, don't jump through there. You stay, we need a pal. We need a pal. You wait with your lamb. Oh no, don't jump through there. Oh no. Don't be crazy. Oh, wild lads. Steady. Steady, this is precarious, wee lamb. Don't you fall down there every day. I'll blind about the lamb now. Oh, right. There's a lamb back to your mum. Right, wee gimmer. Honestly, folks, that Covid has absolutely nailed me. That's. Oh, it's hard work. Oh, heavy breathing. Okay, so a bit of a disaster of a start this morning. Well, good and bad. We've got like three, four good sets of twins there and a single all up and on their feet. I'm not saying they're souped. We'll need to go back and check them. But yeah, there is positives despite the negative that is... Well, this isn't really a negative. It's just a little lamb needs in the shed. But those two dead lambs earlier, good, big, strong lambs. And, you know, you think these things over as you're travelling about, you know how it played out. Really, a belly full of colostrum. And, you know, they were, a, they were a good 12 hours old by last night. Those lambs should have been on the teats. you has got milk, good sized teats. She loves them. There's no real reason why they shouldn't have worked. So, yeah, it is what it is. And it does feel like, to be fair, sometimes the only time I get the camera out is for issues, because I think, oh, you know, gets boring just looking at a nice happy set of twins all the time and in fairness that's probably true like the things going wrong is probably I'm not saying the best things to watch but it's the most interesting things to watch and there's going to be plenty of that today I think folks stay tuned so we have wee lamb in the heat box get the heat and then we'll give it some colostrum I'm going to go and uh, heat some colostrum that we milked last night that's what we'll be using for the next Hopefully it does is at least for today. I'm gonna to mix some colostrum just now and take it back to those two wee lambs that I saw that were just fresh born. I'm gonna try and feed them in the field and keep them with mum. I don't really want to be catching her, but if we need to, we need to. Just typical of the morning that you, you want a quiet morning and you don't want too many lambs and there's lambs everywhere here. And the pair that I was talking about that I was coming back to see, they're actually up and running really well with mum. They just look so miserable this morning. I thought there's another wee pair that's getting thin up. But they're actually fine. I'm just not sure what mum here's doing. I hear a lamb shouting. Have you got a lamb in here, mum? Is it just sheltering? Ah, oh, wee lamb's fine. It's just in, in, in sheltering. Okay, so we've got caught up on some of the carnage that was unfolding this morning. Everything looks okay outside just now, but we're going to monitor it closely. So we lost two lambs. On a bad night with so many being born, 
put a positive spin on it, Cammy. It's not a total disaster. It is for that setup, but in the grand scheme of things, and she's got another lamb. I'll show you her just now. We have, she was put in this head yoke last night. She's a bit upset because I'm coming round here and standing right in front of her, but that's still allow this little lammy to get in for a suckle because she doesn't like it. We tried to mix the juices, but it was a bit, well, she's just a wee cheevy that's all upset, so she's not keen, but she will take that lamb. She's heaps of milk. So that's just a way of, the reason we do that is so that she can't see the lamb, but the lamb can still get in and suckle. And after a while, they form a bond. And I'm not actually sure the science behind it. Must be some sort of psychology uh, thing that the mum basically gives in and says, oh, actually, you are my lamb. Sorry for the mix up. Here is little tiny tot, who was cold and hungry looking this morning and crazy mum that nearly jumped in the river. He's been the hot box. We've tubed him some colostrum and Jock's actually just had them on for a souk before I got here. So that's looking good. Other disasters. Yes, the, 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 so the two lambs you saw that died before we got back to the shed. That's the mum there. And we've put a lamb on to her. It's had a suckle in at her. She's loads of milk. Really strange one that because the lambs were fitting well last night. She's plenty of milk, small teats, so there's no issue there. She loves them. Strange setup, man, they're just two silly lambs, but anyway, it is what it is, it's done now. So we move on, we've fixed it, we move on. And we have a lot of sheep in the shed just now. That is our next problem. The nursery pen is fairly full here. I don't really want to put too many more sheep in here and it's really bad weather today and bad weather tomorrow, so we'll need to suss out where we're going to put stock for a day or two. Very lucky here with Tom and Vicky, they have loads of sheds, so there is space for them. And we'll just sort something out. Another wee interesting thing, just rambling here a bit, but I was a bit slow. Last year we used a product called uh, Dry Dis, which is a red disinfectant, and it was fantastic. I shouldn't be touching bags here, but this year, we couldn't get that for some reason. They said they just couldn't get stock or they were sold out. I can't remember what the, the exact reason was. So we've got this instead. Most of you will be familiar with it. A lot of farmers use it for their wee pens. Just neutralise the pH. And we just put a sprinkle of that down in between bed and each pen. So yeah, we're all full at the end just now. Jock's here to help out most days. Thankfully, I told him we wouldn't need them this morning until later on if he's got cows to feed in the morning. But uh, by eight o'clock, I was thinking I wish I had them there to do all the running because I'm knackered. But it's that nah, you're maybe no, you're fully eating on, aren't you? Aye. It's gone about Scotland now, I tell you. And look at these pets. And Lizzie says there's four triplets to lift up the road and I think we've got at least one there to lift here as well. So... That's another five lambs on the bucket. Yeah, they never look that flash pet lambs. I shouldn't even show you them. But okay, we're going to do some haze, do some waters, do all those tasks, and I need to go back and check. I left a sheep lambing outside. She was just kind of getting on with it, but I'm not worried about them in this weather. We'll go back and check her after we do that. I almost forgot the most important update of all. Vicky did this last night. Lammy, stop scratching yourself. Iris, how are you getting on? Let me see that wee eye of yours. Turn your wee head. I know you don't want to turn that way because you can't see. So Iris has been getting some antibiotics. Still for this eye, just to make sure we don't get any infection in there. And it has a new mum who definitely loves it this time. Don't you? Don't come to me, come to mum. There you go. So we're on to a winner. So Iris has a mum. It's a wee gimmer. They are small gimmers then. See if it wasn't for the fact I have so many lambs, I wouldn't add a lamb onto them. But we need to do something. We have so many triplets, so many pets. Oh, the thought of reading them, <laughs> it gets to me. Can you tell I'm feeling better now after the bad start? Let's go. In this situation here where I'm just trying to decide what to do. This sheep that we saw earlier with the 
the one the two one lamb, she's now two absolute belters. But this one's still lambing here and she's gonna need a hand. I thought when I seen her earlier, it's, it looks like it's just about ready to come out, but it looks like a strong lamb. So I'm gonna just nose in here a bit with the wee trailer. Because I think what I'm gonna do, unconventional, is it? I don't know. I'm gonna take the trailer in and leave the sheep. I'm gonna lamb her, put her in the trailer, leave the trailer there and come back and let her out in a wee while. That's what we're going to do. No stick Meg, so... Oh yeah, this is in the pool. Definitely. Looks a monster lamb. She's a big bellied sheep. So I'll get round here while she's calm and then I'll just get Meg to come on. Wee. Wee. Why you doing? Come by. Come by. Come by. She's being silly here, Meg, because she's trying to run round me, which is part of her. Lie like down. I'll let her get in tighter. Lie like down. She's been lambing a wee while because she's getting a bit weak of the back legs. Wee. Last oh, year, a monster. An absolute monster, right. Big lamb lash, you've just, you nearly got the, jeez, it's a monster. You nearly got there. You just needed me to, oh, it's a big lamb, this lass. What were you thinking, having a lamb this size? Just off the grass, look at it. No feeding or nothing. What about your wee swollen tongue lamb, eh? that was safe for an hour. Top lamb, of course it is. Is there a second one in there? Surely not, gallons of milk. Fantastic. No, that's you last, isn't it? Big belly. Right, here we go, team. Wee lamb's absolutely fine, swollen tongue. Is about the only bother with it. I'm just worried that mum is so worked up again. We've spoken about this before. As I get mum wound up and then she wants to run away. But sometimes I'll just Give it a wee lick, Mum, and then I'll know I can leave you. That's all I want to see. Big lamb. Do you love it? Right, I'm away. Right, pretend I'm away. I'm not actually away, guys. I'm just ready to catch her. No, she's going to run. Ears are up. Right. Right, lass, you're going the trailer. We tried. We tried, but there's no trust. We've not formed any trust. And trust is essential in this job, you know that. You've been a sheep long time. Come on, wee lamb loves you. Mum, you love it as well, but I just, you're so big and heavy now. If you're not going to stand up. Right, I'm going to walk away. Right, partly because I'm lazy. And I don't want to fight with you. Oh, now she knows I'm away. Now she knows she can get away. I bet she stands up and they bother now. Okay, so the, the dramas of the day aren't over yet. I was just out, we run round the mules here and spotted a hungry looking lamb. So we're going to go and catch them and take them to the shed because I'm heading that way anyway with the stock trailer. So we lamby here. Mum's another big bag job. That's exactly what it is. Oh, come back. Oh, I can't give you lamb it, you'll be fine. This one won't die, that's that's one good thing, the lamb will be fine. It's not long born. She was fairly fresh this morning when I was round. I just need to catch that right Meg, I'll need you. Way, way, way. Lie down, way, lie down, lie down. I don't want you to actually do anything Meg, I just want you to distract her. You're an absolute bruiser. Just come back. Come back. I can see
I've got them further enough in. I know that's the problem. Right, let me just. No, 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 no! You wee rascal. Come here, little bull peep. Let's caught her sheep. Oh, great wee mum. Great wee mum. Too much milk. Look at the big teats. Do you this side? Oh, don't you stamp at me. Okay, sheep fans. So. You've just saw that footage there of me putting the lamb jackets on. We're out of the Cheviots here. There's a few lambs I'm not happy with here. These two are the first two that I'm going to nab and put some lamb jackets on because I think they need it for tonight. It's okay. How cool do you look now? Oh, steady lamp. You love your lambs, you're a good mum. Here she comes. Here she comes. She's a good mum. Right, who's next? I've got your lamb, mate. I've got your lamb, mate. Oh, mum's absolutely gone, but quite a clever. Got to be very quick, because these cheevets you can't mess about. Very clever idea, really. It's just a plastic bag with some holes cut in it, out it. They probably charged me a fortune for them as well, at Tarf. But hey, you can't put a price on this happiness this lamb's going to feel here. Hey, right, lamb, I've got to be quick because mum's not going to come back. Oh my god, I've put your wrong legs through. I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. What's that? I've put your head through the wrong bit, have I? I'm oh, sorry, I have. Keep that. Start again. I said I need to be quick. My phone's ringing. I can't answer it. What's the heat bit? And it's there. So that bit's right. Heat. Oh, heat through there. Leg through there. Leg through there. Where yeah, she? Where the mum go? Oh, she's done an absolute belter. Me, me. Oh, here we go. And Lizzie has Meg, which is the other problem. She was going to check the other bit and I says it'll be fine. I'll, I'll not need Meg. But I'm going to need Meg now. Or I'll need to be very agile. Because once I lose this sheep, you won't get her back. What have I done, Cammy? Why are you here about Meg? This is silly. Silly. I put that single back over there near its mum, by the way, we'll go and check it in a bit. She's stone mad. It's a cold lamb here as well. Are they both your lambs, lass? Right, lammy, how are you feeling? You okay? Can I interest you in a jacket? Oh, this is just a disaster tonight. Come back for your lamb, mum. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, come back for the camera, Cammy. Absolutely ridiculous. She literally just got up and just walked and she's never once looked back. Never once looked back. Just too, too nasty a day. Far too nasty a day today. To be fair, we've salvaged most situations. We just, we lost those two lambs this morning, which was a disaster. And this is a dead lamb here, obviously. And now we've got a disaster in it. I shouldn't have went near that single lamb. The mum's still not come back to it. She's just done a runner. And now this lamb that I just put a jacket on, the mum's walked away up there and never even looked back, which just drives me up the wall. Because it's just, it's just badness. But it's because I'm used to mules, that's the problem. Now I need to try and catch this sheep without a dog, which is ridiculous. We've had a couple of dead lambs, but we have saved lambs as well. I, I'm worried. I'm worried about tonight. Um, which is why I'm running about putting all these jackets on, but... There's not much I can do. 
down here with these cheviots without it becoming an absolute disaster. But there's wee lambs here. Tiny wee lambs running with their blackies. But if you start rushing about trying to grab those things, it's just a disaster. So what will be will be in the morning now. That is just sheep farming, eh? That is just sheep farming. And it's farming in general, you're at the absolute mercy of the weather so often, but I'll be honest, I can't remember a day, a day this wet for a, a few years during lambing. I've just got a right bad run of it here. Let's get to the shed. So, without a doubt, this has been one of the hardest days I've ever tried to vlog. So many things going wrong. We've salvaged most of them. We have been, we've obviously lost that lamb you just saw there. I'm just going to show you her. Um, we have lost those two this morning, but apart from that, there are some good things to show you. Lizzie's skin on from uh, yesterday has worked good, so the skin is just about to come off this little lamb here. That's the one Lizzie caught and brought in. This is the one that we just caught from the field, and this little triplet lamb's not that keen on the cold, wet skin we've just put on her, but mum seems fairly happy it is her lamb. We'll just need to wait and see what comes of that. Time will tell, but she has a lamb, that's the main thing. She's got milk, she's only got one tit. The other tit's been, well, it's totally removed, which makes me think maybe the shearer got it when she was a hog. <coughs> you haven't done any shearing up at Lear, Jock, have you? <laughs> no, just checking, just checking. No. I'm only joking, you know, you know I'm joking mate. Some sheep here, some sheep here, and this is the other one that the lamb was like death's door. Uh, we got her out in the field, you remember earlier? Oh, I'll show you a clip of it now because there's been so much happening I can barely remember. But the lambs are up and at it, they've just had a feed again. We're just milking her off. The teats are so big they're just struggling to get it in the mouth. But if we keep milking her off and as they get stronger, they'll go into those teats and she's a right milky sheep. Hedge oak lass is still here, she will do a day or two in that hedge oak because it's harder doing it that way than when they just accept the skin. They're all fine here. The pet pen gets bigger and bigger. Not sure why that one's lifting its leg like that. Does it get a sore leg? Let's all go here. Triplets. Iris with her new mum. Living the dream. Look at the milk there. This little tiny lamb that this morning, that, oh, steady mum. This gimmer that was mad to catch down the corner. He's looking great, full wee belly. I had him up two seconds ago. Well, he's never gonna look great, he's absolutely tiny. And this is another skin on that we did from, what was this one again? I'll need to watch the footage back as I edit to remember what this one was. Oh, this was the two dead, this was the two dead lambs this morning. That's what this was. And we've got a skin on that. So, starting to really congest things up when the, the pens are full of problems. It's harder to get them emptied. Lizzie's here. How have you been getting on? We don't see, I was explaining we don't see much in the vlog because we spend all day separated doing different jobs. The best way. No, <laughs> uh, what is that you're wearing, Lizzie? Do you want to just, just say a wee bit about it? Which bit? You know what you're wearing. The your merch. Oh, oh, you don't yes, need so any are. plugs for the merch. It goes well in <laughs> No, but like that's a new headband, isn't it? Yes, my mum wants one actually. Do you like them? Yes. You've got to say, you're going to say that, but she actually did say We had headbands before and they just weren't, they were quite thin. So we always wanted to get some of these knitted ones and we finally managed to find some. They sold out rapid, I think we've put another, well by the time we put this, we'll put them on the site and they're probably sold again because you guys are absolutely amazing. And it, it, make, it does make a massive difference to us, the merch does great and it's, pays the bills, that's the honest truth right now. There you go. Oh yeah, that's the skin off it. Some milk coming through. Aye. She's on the good stuff. She, likes it. nice she does like it. Ah, it's a good wee lamb, that. Is that a ewe lamb? We'll end up keeping it. Yeah, no, okay. So, success story. So, we have two disasters. We have the, the one over there that had two dead this morning, and the one we just brought in was dead. But thankfully, everything else we've been able to save. And there's still a, a long night ahead for these lambs that are out there. We've got some jackets on, as you saw. I'm going to do a final round, a final check. And Robbie's going to go and check in the shed here for me, aren't he? Oh! Robbie, what is it tomorrow? Oh, it's Robbie's, Robbie's birthday tomorrow. He's going to be eight. And he'll get better at climbing fences. Right, 
Let's go and do the final rounds together, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Okay, sheep fans, let's do this. You've been with me this far. One final round tonight, and that'll wrap up the vlog. Is there going to be any final action? I really hope not. What about to find out? I'm coming back for you, don't worry. Do you think I was going to leave you up there? Imagine. Thought I would just leave the hood down so you could really gauge how windy it is tonight as well. So we've got that combo of wind and rain, which is not a good thing for me lambs. It's the, like I, I'm, I'm smiling. <laughs> it's that kind of way, like I'm smiling on the outside just because that's the way I'm wired. But inside, I'm just feeling like a bit, bit of bit of dread, I think, for tonight, to be honest with you. I mean, that sheep should have two lambs straight away. What have you done with your other lamb? That's not your lamb. You're stealing that lamb because you're, you're trying to lamb. No, you're stealing that lamb. There's its real mum there. Too late at night for these shenanigans. Now I can hardly hold the lamb because it's got a sweet jacket on. Just put it there, lamb. <laughs> How did you forget him? Hey? <laughs> That's actually a. Uh, there's another positive th thing to say about these jackets. Makes it really easy to identify that set of twins there. You can see how full the, the bum is here. Scotland we call like a small stream above some more wee jackets over there. Look at this, waterlogged. Just so you want to see in your lambing field. Jeez. Oh, another couple of wee jackets. Getting down in the shelter there, mum. Good wee mums. They're all experienced mums here as well. There's no first time mums here. Oh, that doesn't look good. Or not? Is it just sleeping? Lammy! 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 Mum's walking away for you. Come on. Follow our lamb. I need to see you up on your feet just so I know you're okay. No, he's not getting up, so we'll need to just go and check him. Oh, aye, there he's up. Oh, he's up and running. Aye, I knew he was fine. I was round there earlier. I knew he was fine. Now Mum's wandering away. Oh my God, he's just come through that fence, didn't he? Surely not. Oh, he has. Absolute madman. Oh, see that? Now I have just created a problem that wasn't there. Right, don't come this way, lamb. I'll get turned round and... We need to go and nab him now. Bugger! Ha, oh, wee lamb. You're actually a cracking wee lamb. I don't know what I was worried about. No, don't be silly. Oh, be careful here, Cammy. That wee lamb goes in that burn, you've lost it. Oh, jeez! Too busy watching the lamb. Right. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm going away, lamb. I'm going away. Don't stress yourself. Don't stress yourself. Mum's going to come back. That's what's going to happen. This is a bit of a shambles. Just cock any, mum. Just... Don't walk so fast. Have a look about yourself. There it is. There it is. Stop there. Stop there. Stop there. Stop there. Stop. 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 Right, shout your wee lamb. Meh. The wee lamb's like literally. You can't see it in the GoPro because I'm too far away. But it's literally just sitting down the bank in the out the wind. And it's not even bothering with its mum. Oh. You'll freeze and starve in there tonight. Oh my god, I've got myself caught.
Right, folks. Oh my God, it's a wait. It's a wait. It's a wait. Oh, lad. Oh, jeez, you'll be cold now. You mad. Mad wee brute. You could have just went the easy way and you'd do that. Oh, come back to me now. I need to catch you. Get it to your mum. Oh. That is not how you heat yourself up on a night like this. This is all because I wasn't sure if the lamb was okay. And I've just made it worse. What a dramatic bit of footage that is, right enough. Pete, you thought you were a goner there. Right, lamb, you're going to need to get some shelter now. You've got a big full belly of milk, I can feel that. Mum's been looking after you. There he is, Mum. Ah, you remember him now? I oh, don't follow the bike. Bike's off. It's an absolute store to the alarm. Right, there we go. Right, sheep fans, I don't mind telling you, I'm absolutely soaked. I'm thin up, which means I'm cold, and it's been a hell of a day. Starving, going home for my dinner. Not even my lunch. Hope you've enjoyed this one. I, it's probably horrendously erratic, but uh, we're really farming now. See you in the morning for God knows what. See you for the next one, sheep fans.